Hello, my PC students. Well, here's another if statement, but it includes a little bit more than the previous one. So first of all, let's go to File, and let's go to Open, Browse, and we want to go to your Classes Drive. So I want to go to my Classes Drive, I want to go to PC, I want to go to Teaching Documents, and I want to go to If Statements. And I want the one called XX Conditions 1. So I open it up, File, Save As, and I want to go to Browse, and I want to go to my U Drive, Print Com, Excel, and my folder called If Statements. And I'm going to click in the file name box, press Home, type in my first name, and type in my current date, and save it. Okay, so in the first one, this is just a review from last day. It said that if the student's mark will, now they said more than or equal to. So this time you've been told more than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And you're going to get passed or failed. So equals if, whoa, I missed the F, IF, open your parentheses. So if your mark is more than or equal to, 60, then that's your condition. Your true value would be, quote, passed, P-A-S-S-O-E-D, -S quote. That's my true condition. If they didn't pass, then you've got to say failed, quote. And because we have text, remember we have to have quotation marks on both sides. So make sure you've got quote, passed quote, and quote, failed quote and then close your parentheses and press enter. And the first one passed. Okay, so did the second one, but the third one did not. Okay, now this time you have a penalty and your penalty is 10%. Okay, as you've always learned, you've got to reference it. So copy it, doesn't matter to me where you put it, but you have to reference it, okay, so that I can see it on your screen. So there's my penalty, 10%. All right, I want to go to View here, and I want to go to Zoom and go to Custom and put in 150, and I'm going to save it, Control-S. Okay, so this time then is that if the cell reference here has a yes, that means that there is a penalty of 10%. Okay, and it said... And if that's not true, then you want to display not applicable. So therefore, we want to say here in D13, we want to say equals if. Okay, open your parentheses. And if B13 equals yes. Now it's text, so we've got to go quote, yes, quote because it's text, remember. So if B13 equals yes, comma, if it's true, then you want to calculate. So you want to take your amount due times your penalty of 10%. And your 10% would have to be absolute. So you've got to make it absolute with function key F4. Comma, the true value is that you're asked to put in not applicable. So again, quote, N slash A, quote, because it's text. All right, close your parentheses and press enter. And the first one uh, came to 3250, which you can mentally calculate. 10% times $325 would be $3250. And then we're going to grab your fill handle and drag down. All right, and then we want to know what will be the amount owing, okay? So the total amount would be equals sum, and you would have to highlight both values. There's the amount of the invoice plus the penalty, and $357, and you would drag down. Now we want a dollar sign at the beginning of the column 
So we're going to go to home, get your paintbrush, paint this one, and then we want to pick up this and go to your paintbrush, and we want to paint all the way down to here, paint this one, paint this one. Okay? Remember, there's no totals here, so you only have a dollar sign at the beginning of the column. All right, so that was fairly easy for you to do, okay? You can see if I widen my formulas here, and I'll just narrow this down a bit. I'll let that show. Okay, so you said if B13 equals yes, then you're going to take C13, which is your penalty, or your amount due times your penalty of 10%, which is absolute, otherwise put in not applicable. And the amount owing then is the sum of your amount due, plus your penalty. All right, we'll stop there.